um, you start noticing that as a response is a byproduct your muscles are more relaxed yes your mind is more focused you have more high good energy same time uh, the sense of kind of well-being goes up much higher and better yes. and then our voice also depends on our breath so there are two primordial sounds which you can generate mm -hmm. and then the first sound is ah and okay. then the second one is the hum mm -hmm. like that uh -huh. so every time we create this sound so any kind of usually the healing prayers or the sounds you hear they are usually single or combination of these two sounds. So the voice of ours is again dependent upon our breath. So now if you are stressed, you are breathing shallower, you are breathing through the chest. But when you relax, your breath goes down to the stomach. Yes. Same way, your voice also reflects your state of mind. So when you are in relaxed mode, your voice comes out even with your breath. So you can only generate sound when you exhale, you breathe out. Mm. So every time you are stressed, you are emotional, you are fearful, your voice is high pitched. And then when you are not yes. feeling well, you feel sick or intimidated, it's low pitched. Yes. So I when you are in balance, yes. your voice is in perfect, right. normal uh, harmony. Yes. And then that's what you really want to uh, use, some kind of simple basic knowledge and some insight. So I call it um, keeping an appointment with yourself. Dr. Soshi, it's, thank you so much for um, all the information you've given. I've learned so much from you um, incorporating um, what I've had to deal with in my own life and um, I know through meditation with Dr. Sachin that um, it's helped me enormously especially with the breath. Um, I myself had to deal with that yesterday. Uh, I was decided to do some exercises and I felt, well, the breath needed to help me, and it did. And I'm grateful for um, everything, but do you have anything else that you can um, add to what you've already said? Sure. Um, I would say there is role of medication and yoga techniques, breathing techniques that helps with the stress and we need to use them appropriately and preferably in combination. Uh, to start off with, to deal when you are unable to get the support that you want immediately, sure, take, use, take the medication and it will give you that instant relief that you're looking for, but it should be a short-term crutch, but the long-term you need to know what to deal with so that you don't become a complete dependent on medication for stress. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that. Now, Dr. Sachin, can you add any more to what I can do and others? Mary, I will say you can, even if you forget everything else, just remember two things. Okay. Meditate, meditate and meditate. <laughs> and then keep Thank an you. appointment with yourself. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to both of you. I'm honored to be here and it's been a blessing for me. I've learned so much from both of you.